Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this is a baby copperhead. Tin like this is a great place to find animals. You can find snakes, lizards, bugs, all kinds of stuff under these little sheets. Check that out! Oh my goodness, look! Look, it's a little copperhead! Come here, buddy. Come here, I'm gonna pick him up with the hook. This is a venomous snake for sure. Look at him! Oh, he's so tiny! He's so, so tiny. Whoa! Look at that! That's a copperhead right there. He is so little. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him compared to the size of the snake hook. That is so little. Look, he's got a yellow tail and everything right now. Wow, guys, this has got to be the smallest copperhead I have ever seen. Look at how tiny he is. Look at that. Now, he's still such a baby that he has a bright yellow tail. And what's that, what that's for is called a cordial lure. And that means that he'll wiggle this like that and it'll look like a little worm or a little grub and frogs and lizards will come up to him. And he'll ambush them and bite them and he'll envenomate them. This is a venomous snake right here. And he will envenomate his prey and then eat it. That is such a cool little guy. Now you can see these pits right by right behind the nose. Kind of looks like a second nostril. Those are heat seeking pits. That's a heat seeking organ. And what that's for is sensing prey. That actually senses the heat signatures of something, say a mouse or a rat, anything small enough for them to eat. These guys are very, very good at eating mice and rats. Now this is a snake that you definitely don't want to come up to. You don't want to handle it. None of that. You don't want to touch this snake. It is a venomous species. And don't be fooled when people say it's got a very mild venom. This is a snake that has been known to kill people and cause amputations, to lose a limb. That's hideous. And it's just not worth the risk of just getting to touch this snake. There's no point in touching it. He's very relaxed, which is being handled by the stick right now. He's very calm. He's not biting at me a bunch. And he is doing very well without me messing with him too much. Now a lot of people confuse this with loads of different kinds of snakes and an easy way to identify it is you've got these little hourglasses. They kind of look like hourglass patterns right there. That's an easy way to identify them and they have different patterns depending on where they're at. Sometimes they just have straight banding but here they have these hourglass patterns. Look at him, he's so tiny. This is the most camouflaged snake that I've ever seen before. You put him in the leaves and he is just, he's gone. They vanish. Like if you just to look at this, you would probably not even see him. They have such an amazing pattern. And oftentimes that's a problem because people will step on this snake and that's how it will bite them. Now something I found really interesting about the copperhead that I learned is that these guys have been known to eat cicadas. Cicadas are those big noisy bugs that go up in the trees and make that meh sound. And when they come out of the ground, to basically turn into an adult cicada, they come up to the cicadas while they're still molting and eat them. This is a venomous pit viper that will actually eat a very large insect. Isn't that incredible? What's interesting is that in the wintertime, these guys will actually den with other snakes. These guys have been found to den with rat snakes and even rattlesnakes sometimes, and they don't have any problems with that. They den with other snakes, they go to hibernate, and um, there can be loads of other snakes around and they don't have a problem with that. Look at that, he's puffing up, he's like, I'm big, even though he's not. He's a little guy, he's a little cutie. Now we only have really four different kinds of venomous snakes that you need to know in the United States. We have the rattlesnake, the copperhead, the cottonmouth, and the coral snake. And all you need to do is memorize those snakes and make sure that if it's, if it's not one of those, then it's not a venomous snake. Look at that, he's got a pink tongue. Well, don't look at me, buddy. You can see he's got a vertical pupil. See, lots of venomous snakes have a vertical pupil. It means it's kind of a straight up and down pupil. Whereas non-venomous snakes will have just a rounded pupil, a round circular pupil, 
And not that you need to ever get that close to be able to tell if it's a venomous or non-venomous species, but it's just something really cool that's different about them. I'm going to lift him up real quick with the stick to where you can see his full size. This is a super small copperhead. These guys can get about four to five feet. They can be a very large snake compared to others, but this one, look at how micro he is. Oh, look at that tongue. Look at that tongue sticking out. That's awesome, and that bright yellow tail. And this may seem like I'm very close to this snake, but I'm completely out of strike range right now. Completely safe, and he's not going to get near me enough to be able to bite me at all. Very calm, he's looking at me, but I'm in no danger right now. I'm far enough of a distance to where he wouldn't be able to bite me. Just as long as I'm careful and safe, then this can be a completely safe experience for him and me. What I want to do, I want to show you guys his belly. He's got a really cool belly pattern. I'm not sure if you can see that right there, but that looks really awesome. The pattern doesn't go all the way around. It's a very different pattern than the top, but it's very, very pretty. Look at that snake. He's so little, and he has such a, a limited strike range that I can get this close and not have any fear of him biting me whatsoever. There's zero chance of me getting bit right now. There's no way that I'm going to get bit by this snake perfectly safe as long as I keep a safe and respectable dif distance from this snake. There's no reason to be messing with them. Even after they get hit by a car, people like to go out and mess with them, but their nerves will actually still be active even after they can get hit or even killed and they can still end up biting people. So you don't even want to mess with the dead snakes in the road with these guys. It's just not worth it. You want to stay away from these guys whenever you can. Wow, this is such an amazing find to find such a tiny copperhead, but we're definitely going to find more this year. We're going to probably find some really big ones and maybe some really cool patterns of copperheads this year, and uh, it's going to be good. We're definitely going to go out and look for some bigger ones sometime, but until then, this little guy is outrageous to find. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.